My name is John Burkholz. I work as a zookeeper at Zoo New England, as well as a research assistant at Grassroots Wildlife Conservation with their Blanding's turtle and other amphibian projects. One of the biggest threats to Blanding's turtles and marbled salamanders is habitat fragmentation. The Blanding's turtles at Great Meadows Wildlife uh, Refuge have actually declined by some 60%. If it, the population gets small enough, it could just simply die out over time. So my work with Zoo New England and Grassroots Wildlife Conservation really go hand in hand. The mission of both are the same, the conservation of species. What I do is help monitor the Blanding's population. The zoo has been very supportive of the head starting programs. When you release a head start and you find them years later, there's a great deal of satisfaction knowing that you had a part in helping a species and helping that animal survive. With the marbled salamander, it's still a pilot program. They were released for the first time into Middlesex Fells. Because we have to wait about four to five years before they're old enough to breed as adults, we may not know till then for sure uh, if they were successful. No doubt in some way without these animals, the ecosystem would be affected. You can illustrate it by if you had a a brick house and you took one brick out, the house isn't necessarily going to collapse, but it's going to weaken the house. So whenever you take an animal out of an ecosystem in some way, it's going to be degraded. We really don't have to be a zookeeper or a scientist and so forth to really appreciate conservation. Planet Earth is so rich in life, so we really can develop an appreciation for that.